Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thank you for tuning in to another video. I just want to give a brief synopsis on, you know, people who can't stand you or they might even hate you because they can't control you. You know, you can definitely turn that into, you know, your greatest strength, you know? And I'm sure there's been times and instances where, you know, we might have felt like we don't fit in or maybe we might have been judged for being different than somebody else. Um, of course, you're definitely not alone in that, you know, and I'll just try to give, you know, some reasons as to why, you know, people simply just hate you for really not conforming to their expectations. Really, you shouldn't because everybody should have an expectation for themselves. You know, you shouldn't go about what anybody else expects of you. You know what I'm saying? It's your life. You live it how you want to live it. However you get by, however you do things, that's you to me. But, um, but yeah, it's definitely rough out here when, you know, you know, fit into society's neat little boxes and stuff like that, you know, facing criticism and even hatred just for you being you, that could be challenging for sure. And you ask yourself like, well, why did something like that happen? You know, and you know, it's just unfortunate that has to be the case like why some people you know they might feel threatened by those who are you know independent or just them being themselves like like imagine this right you decide to you know embrace your true self and then all of a sudden backlash comes your way you know especially from those who are um, the ones that try to control you, that are really desperate and trying to attempt that, right? And in that instance, it's like, it's a tough spot to be in, right? But staying true to yourself, to me, is is worth it. You shouldn't let anybody try to control you in any way, shape, or form, you know? And, you know, it's really essential to just remember, you know, self-acceptance too, you know, um, you know, despite the criticism, you know, staying true to who you are is really, really, really key. So just be unapologetically yourself no matter what. And then just watch how things change, you know. But yeah, I just wanted to give a brief, you know, synopsis on, you know, people hate you because they can't control you. Um, but, you know, I'll just leave it with this too, right? Okay. Like, some people they just don't know how to take you right because they know that there's something on you you know and what's that something well i'll get to it but that's probably why you know some people are drawn to you but then there's others that just can't stand you right and the ones that can't stand you is um probably because they can't control you right people hate and can't stand and don't like what they can't control those manipulators right the truth of the matter is, is that, you know, you get up every day, you go to work, you're nice to everybody, you're cordial to everybody, you're humble, you mind your own business, you stay in your lane. But for some reason, those people still try to seek um, to find something wrong. And they're like this because you have what on you? The spirit of the Lord on you. The spirit of the Lord is on you. You see they smile in your face but they're trying to figure out, you know, what's that thing that's on them that's making them relentless? What's that thing on them that's making them unstoppable or unfazed, right? It's the spirit of the Lord on them, you know? Every time they try, they can never break you. Every time they try, whatever it is, they can never discourage you, you know? Every time something bad happens, you overcome it each and every single time. See, they haven't realized that the Lord's hand is upon your life. He doesn't play about you. He doesn't play about none of his children. So let's make sure that we understand that. You know what I'm saying? So you just got to remember, you know, that people might have a hatred towards you or whatever because they can't control you. But again, you know, staying true to yourself is really the ultimate victory. You know what I'm saying? So just continue to keep shining. And again, they haven't realized that the Lord's hand is upon your life. 
And like I said, he doesn't play about his children. He doesn't play about us. Because we are all his children at the end of the day. No matter what anybody says. You know. So, it's just that simple. So, yeah, man. I just wanted to give a brief synopsis, you know, on, you know, people hate you because they can't control you. Or they don't like you because they can't control you. And, you know, hopefully, you know, people have a better understanding of that. You know, it was just on my mind today. I just wanted to, you know, share it. You know, my thoughts, my synopsis on that. You know what I'm saying? There's people out there, you know, they try to control you, manipulate you, you know, you know, uh, play mind games with you and stuff like that. And, you know, they're probably wondering, like, well, why is it not working? Well, the spirit of the Lord is on them. I want to try somebody else. <laughs> Might get the same result, but just knowing that it's not going to work on the Lord's children. That's what I will say. So, but thank you guys for tuning in to another video. If you haven't hit the like on the way in or, or on the duration of the video or during the duration of the video, um, I would appreciate it if you hit it on the way out. And as always, continue to stay safe. Continue to stay hydrated and monitor to your health because yes, it's like over 100 right now over here. <laughs> it says 97, but you know, you always want to go by real feel. Real feel is 109, so it's basically 109. So stay hydrated, drink plenty of water, um, and stuff like that. Stay cool and continue to be blessed and encouraged. All right, y'all take care and have a blessed rest of the day.